All right, we're back. Another season, pro football, football show, Chevy Silverado. Chicago, couldn't be more excited to be back. Yeah, Will, how are you feeling? Boys, girl, this season is going to be awesome. But who is this jabroni? That's the mystery guest. Different host every single week. I love that idea. Let's go. Welcome to the Pro Football Football Show presented by the Chevy Silverado. Visit Chevy.com to check out the Chevy Silverado. It is week four of the NFL. We have Dave back here at the desk. We have Will and Dave already arguing. This weekend is going to be crazy. Dan, you're right in the middle of it. This I love week, it. We couldn't even start the show on time because they're, they're arguing so much about this weekend. Yeah, no, it's great. It's Actually, great. On the dot. We're not arguing. Just to clarify, and we're, this is a Pro Football Show. And it's him <laughs> trying to spark everything up. No, it isn't. There's a fundamental disagreement on what if we're arguing. I'm supporting. He's calling it arguing. Let's make no mistake about it. I'm excited to go to Nebraska. We're going to be there. We wouldn't go to a school like that ordinarily, but we want to go to Lincoln. We know it's a great football team. They stink. We don't go to terrible programs. I'm rooting for this to be a close game. It's a 17-point spread. It's two in the country versus a terrible program. So I'm not – this isn't like a rivalry Michigan-Ohio State, even though that's lopsided now. This is more like, hey, Will, let's make this exciting for the fans. I'm, I'm on Nebraska's side. you got to get yourself together because he's yeah, just yeah. little buddying you. And it's He's early in the, you on the, top until of the we head. Until we beat them, there's not a whole lot you can do. There's but, not a whole lot Will, you can it's, do. It's Friday morning. He's you little gotta, buddy. In me. I suggested. He's not little buddy. You, yes, he is. He's not little buddy. You you gotta, make, the he made a and they're, and they're flying. And they're flying. They're not flying. They're not flying. They're not flying. You're making shirts and you're forcing the Barstool Huskers account to tweet about it, which is bullshit, by the way. You know what I suggested? The Bus and Bowl, I love it. We should change the name to the Bus and Cover Bowl. Oh, so now the, the oh, winner, whoever covers, get the trophy. Because you're never going to – 17-point spread. Let's make this – someone can – both sides can win this trophy. The, the, bar, the bus and cover bowl. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, see, there you <laughs> go. All right. right. Yeah, you got – it's going to be a long idea. weekend. Would that make you stay the whole game? Yeah. You don't even watch your team. Michigan, you guys are a bunch of Fairweather Country Club oh, fans, dude. God. Well, it's what, like, are you staying the whole game? I'm I know. Not, I know. I'm, I know. If Wisconsin was playing, they would. would stay the whole yeah. game again because that's a close game. Well, no, no it's it because he be. loves his team. I, he asked me if I would wear a Nebraska jersey. I said, "Listen, I'll wear uh, I other I'll wear outside of Big Ten teams. I can't." I said. He also I said, "I hope you understand said, because yeah. that's just a couple guys who understand the pride Listen, of having." I've have been walking school. down the streets in the Midwest. I see somebody. I swear. I go GBR. GBR. That's all I'm saying to people. Dude, GBR. A little buddy in you. It's a, GBR. This, it's a little buddy. Go Big Red. GBR. When I found on, out that, keep it close. that Dave GBR. was going to be here for this show this morning and I just knew what the weekend looks like because we're all traveling to Lincoln together, I just knew GBR. that it was going to be a long weekend for you. It's a little buddy. It's going to be tough for you. GBR. It's all, it's all good. It's okay. all good. We still got to play. The ball's got to be kicked off 2.30 at Memorial. And I'm telling you, I'm excited we're going to sneak Michigan. And when I say we're going to sneak Michigan, we're going to beat your candy asses right there. Oh, right. there we go. And we're storming the field. Oh, I love it. I'm That's just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. You guys keep sleeping. GBR. You had, the, you had a problem with Bowling G Green. GBR. You had a problem with Rutgers until the second half. You know, and that quarterback was... What? This is going to be one of those things. terrible throws. Well, GBR. when this airs again on Sunday, this could be a tough clip. I just want to But I did the, in this air tonight? I'm happy. And yeah, it does re-air on Sundays. Up for yourself. That's important. Yes, GBR. that is important. The good news for you is this is an NFL show. So we are going to talk about the NFL, right? I assume college will come into it. But we want to talk about Thursday night football last night. This was another thing that was happening before the show. We were mm -hmm. talking about the Lions and the Packers. The Lions beat them 34 to 20. Dan, I will give it to you. The, the Lions are for real. I know this is a sad thing to say. I said this on part of my take today. But the Lions beating the Packers on Thursday night football will most likely be the best Bears game of the year for me. Um, and <laughs> Jordan Love, he sucks. Like, I, I, I'm happy that well, he, he sucks. Yeah, I'm um, well, I think he sucks. I know in my heart he sucks. I think Packers fans don't realize that he sucks, which is great because they're going to have to keep going with him. And the Lions are for real. So like, the Lions this, are Dan. for real. Yes. Didn't you think well, Justin Fields was? Well, that's what I was going to ask. It's a real change. He's back. So I think that's what he's saying. He'd rather yes. have Fields because everyone knows he's Correct. Terrible than a guy. Like last year, Bears Correct. fans like, we got our guy. Correct. You it's can't. Worst, they said that. The worst place right. you can be in the NFL 
is having a guy right. and being like, he might be good, he might be bad. I'm not like sure Dave's Love going is, through that. I'm not right sure now. Love he is bad. He hasn't played Dave's enough. Going he hasn't through played that right now. Correct. So, you, so, but if he turns out to be bad, you've wasted years. two years now. But he, fair, fair. However, it's like there's still not enough of a sample size. I agree with you. Right. 17 right. and they no, came back. I, I, I'm not I'm convinced he's bad. I think he's bad, okay. and I think they're going to take – it's going to be a couple years before they realize he's bad, which is great. Jerry, is he bad? I just got I, I just got no clue why they're running Montgomery like that. Oh, Jerry had thirty times. Had Jameer Gibbs <laughs> <laughs> touchdown. How are you doing today, Jerry? Good, doing great. <laughs> doing good. Okay. Yeah, he, hard. <laughs> he was texting me last night. He had Jameer Gibbs every time they're in the goal line. David Montgomery ran it down their throat. Uh, but the Lions, it's more about the Lions. The Lions are for real, for real. They're a good team. Uh, they're a very good team. They've but, won in two of the toughest places: Lambeau and Arrowhead. I will say, real. Dan. Like, yes, it's a great victory. I get what you're saying. The enemy, uh, the who, the who you root for who's ever playing the Packers, blah, 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 all that stuff. But you guys are supposed to be Lions. No, I know. The Lions are it, – it's um, – the Lions are the new Packers. The Packers are the new Bears. The Bears are the new Lions, and the Vikings mm. are the Vikings. Yeah. You think the I Bears, saw that tweet and someone had nailed it. I think the Bears are creating a new low. That's what I'm saying. They're the new Lions because the Lions have been low like for a very long yeah. time. That's kind of how it's reshuffled. What do you think the odds are that they go 0 and 17? Uh, I think they'll find a way to win a game. I'm I'm fully in tank mode. It's it happened before. You want we Caleb Williams? Until, yeah, Caleb Williams and Jim Harbaugh play man football. Will change everything. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. We're gonna. Why not get? Jim uh, Harbaugh wants to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm actually probably rooting for Michigan to win a national title because then Jim Harbaugh. That, will that is true. I think. That, I yeah. think if he wins a title, I think that, that's that what I'm going to have to. But I don't for think us. he's leaving until he wins a title. Yeah, I think this is the last year you guys would even have a chance at maybe sniffing the title. Oh, wow. here we go. I just, <laughs> I think the it's the last in. year you guys have any bit of talent left on that team. Uh-huh. I'm just telling you. <laughs> what have you guys done in the uh, in the playoff the last couple of years? GBR. Oh, I'm serious. It's like are. the way you guys have gotten handled in the college football Jared, playoff, and you're I you're surviving against <laughs> Bowling Green. You think that is? Well, a- I mean, let me. Last year we lost a very close game to a TCU team, and that got the year before we lost Maddie. by George, to Georgia. No shame in losing yeah. to Georgia. So got choked by Georgia. Pro football, pro guys, football. Yeah, football show. Football. Pro, pro football, football, football show. show. You guys are well, gonna have all weekend. Game on United States soil. Did you? <laughs> last year? Uh, no, that was Northwestern. Yeah. Northwestern <laughs> beat Nebraska and then didn't win yeah, the game in, on United States <laughs> soil. Yes. GBR. I, I can't wait to go to Lincoln. I can't wait to get to Lincoln. I, that sellout, I heard congrats. You guys are shrinking the Pro football. So you can keep that streak alive. We're doing some big things. I don't think people see it yet. I don't think people see it yet, but there is a vision. Mm-hmm. Pro football. So Gotta talk to Trev Alberts about that. Pro football. Pro football. So the Dan, last week, your record, you said that you thought it was going to be like the worst weekend and you I, had, yeah, and you went 11-4-1. and one. I was on fire. I'm you were back. on fire. Dave, uh, last time you were here, your record was 5-9-1, and one, but everybody had a bad weekend that weekend. So yeah. uh, That's two weeks ago. Might as well be like black and white television era. <laughs> yeah. this, well, Fair. Football moves quick. On hey, that's next. big, though, because you hated all your picks last I week. I hated all of them. I was fired up. Yeah, yeah he said it was like the, the worst the worst bets he had made. Yeah. So we'll just start this week with the storyline games of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. We'll start with the Ravens and the Browns. The Browns favored by two and a half. Will, I will start with you. What are we thinking about Deshaun Watson after the way he played last week? Is he hurt? Hey, no. I, he's still not that. I think he's like. He played well last week. Yeah, he did. He played well, the but he's still like he's still like 25th funny. or 27th in completion percentage. You saw the but backwards bef- pass, right? Bef- no. Oh my God. Before last week, everybody was like, "What's going on with him?" I mean, he, I he didn't still, play like incredibly yeah, last yeah. week, but it was a little bit better. I'm taking the Ravens. Okay. I love uh, Roquan Smith coming out saying we're going to beat him in front of their uh, wives and kids. Uh, the Ravens in their last seven, five and two against the Browns. Their two, their two losses is when Hundley was under center. Yeah, I like uh, Lamar Jackson. I like the Ravens. They got a good defense. I'm going Ravens. Do you saw the backwards pass, Deshaun Watson? Yeah, it was one of the funniest clips ever. Watch this. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> I love how I just it, yeah. <laughs> he played well though. Yeah. He did. He I played uh, all right. I got a problem with this game because uh, we tape all these shows all week. You probably just watch advisors. I took the Ravens and advisors. I think I'm gonna have to switch. I think I, I, I've talked myself what? into the Browns. Yeah. Why? Yeah, because I think the Browns' defense is the best defense in the NFL right but now. But who have they played? Uh, they Bengals, played who are very Burrow. wishy-washy yep. week one. Yep, yep. They, they fucking it's... smushed your Titans. Yeah, but Miles what Garrett kind of offense did they have? I understand. The tit- but, like, okay, but yeah, I, I understand. Amazing. I understand. And they, they, uh, 
you know, they barely got out of there against the Steelers. They uh, all I know is they, they three with weeks with the Steelers anemic offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, yeah, like, no, cool they, they, they win they, against. Well, they the Steelers scored twice on defense. The I'm saying the the defense for the Browns is elite. They have had three games and they've had two t- two times a team has gone to the red zone, zero touchdowns, one field goal. They're elite. Like I know that they Schwartz is he is. Like, they, they're they, like they, one Miles in every Garrett's category. out of this world. I guess. The Titans only had what, like, less than 100 yards last week. It was not good. I, I, I think if I switch, I have to switch everything though. Like I can't, I can't take the Browns here and the advi- and the advisors take the Ravens. That's you can't do that. No. I'm gonna pass to Dave and I'm gonna think about this. Dave, <laughs> I, I'm taking the Browns. Um, I, I'm just not sold on the Ravens and Lamar is quarterback. That's the same story that I've been telling for years now so I'll take the Browns at home this is a hate game obviously um Browns fans despise the Ravens so I, I do think there's one of those games that there's an extra oomph in the stadium just because of the Art Modell and moving the whole team so I'm going to take the Browns at home I'm All making right, the switch I'm making the switch okay. I'm going to have to tell Quiggs can you text Quiggs? Tell him that. I'm making the switch. They Chief, probably already are going all it. Browns? I'm going Browns. Well, I'm going I'm Browns. I'm telling you, and another difference, too, is like, what? What, what Jerry? We were able to do that? I didn't, think, I didn't think we were able to do that for advisors. All right, fine. I'm sticking with the Ravens. Fuck it. I'm sticking with the Ravens. I'm sticking with the hey, Ravens. No switch. Say, no without switch. Without Nick Chubb, they're 2.8 per carry without Chubb. Okay. This is the problem, though, that I have when we do all these shows all week. I have a pick on Wednesday, and then by Friday, I'm like, wait, I don't like that pick anymore. Couldn't you just take the, on this show a different pick? Or do you no, you, you can't do that. You, you can't, you can't okay. do that. I've thought about doing that, but then you have no credibility. Look you, at you your record. Have a Look picks. You thought about, you thought about no, taking know, the Packers. Right. Fans of picks you don't like. Yes, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't like the Ravens, so that will win. Good point. Let's move to the Patriots at the Cowboys. The Cowboys favored by six and a half. Dave, the Patriots got a win against the Jets last week. The Cowboys lost to the Cardinals. How are we feeling about your Patriots right now? So, you know, I'm always honest. Uh, I was feeling great after the first half Mm. of that Patriots game. And by the end of it, it was the worst I felt about the Patriots this season, despite getting the win. Mm -hmm. Um, You would have had an all-time bad video if that – Hail Mary had worked because you had already called the game. I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know. Uh, I they just stopped trying to score the Patriots, and, and it, maybe because they think Zach Wilson is so inept, they're like, "There's no chance the Jets could score." But they look so bad in the second half. Uh, run, run, pass, a couple balls, not good. I thought they looked really good in the first half. You know, I'm taking the Patriots. Of course, of course, you are. That's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Dan? Uh, I'm going to take the Cowboys here. I think they're going to be pissed off. I am a little nervous because the Cowboys got run on last week by the Cardinals, and the Patriots do want to run the ball. I'm just, Stevenson looks like he's someone put, like, Novocaine in his legs. He's not running the same way. I mean, Zeke looked like he had more pop than Stevenson. I right. thought he was a really good player. I'll also, I should have said this. I don't know how he fell, but Gonzalez is like an absolute lockdown. He's corner. very, very mm-hmm. good. He makes that defense very dangerous. But he the does. Offense, yeah, uh, that that that's the only thing that makes me nervous about this game is the Patriots defense. I do respect, and I think they'll keep it close. the The problem is the Cowboys uh, aren't scared of anyone on the Patriots offense. I, they don't have explosive players. So uh, e- even though the Cardinals are probably a worse team, they do have some explosive players. Uh, Rondell Moore broke a big one. Josh Dobbs is playing out of his mind. So I'm going to take a pissed off Cowboys team and think that it's going to be one of those. It might be close for a while, but I just don't think the Patriots have enough on offense. And they can't keep giving them the ball over and over and right. over. But uh, yeah. And yeah. I also am going off the theory that I do think the Cowboys, and Will, you can speak to this better because, uh, you know, you played 10 years, no big deal. Uh, I do think the Cowboys kind of like sleptwalk that game. I think they walked into to Arizona and they're like, this is not going to be a problem. And, and it was one of those games where they thought they could just roll out the helmets and win. And now it's kind of a readjustment like, hey, we, every team is live in the NFL. I mean, we were talking about it last week. Like, Arizona is going to be like that flag in your face all season long. You're going to have to kill them, even though they're in a tough division. But uh, I like I like the Patriots. Oh, boy, Will. I like Will. the Patriots. And you, <laughs> you know, like, we got our little rivalry going on right now. But I do like the Patriots. I like, I like Billy B's defense. They're a top ten defense. They're holding teams to – like 27% on third down. And uh, the Cowboys in the last two weeks have been three for 11 in the red zone. 
I like the Patriots. And Ezekiel Elliott homecoming, even though it's you're like, oh, it seems like he's got a he, Zeke seems like he's got a little bit more pop. Zeke he's gonna get he's gonna get he's gonna get going. Than I will I'm gonna, gonna yeah, I, will I think be he's betting gonna get him going. to score a touchdown in a revenge game. I that was nice what you did there. What? You wrote down twenty seven percent and then you pre, you pretended you found it off the top of your head. You're like I, I don't thinking, know, I like twenty seven percent. Hang on, BC. Like, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking in my head. I was trying not to look back down, but I was thinking twenty one or twenty seven. Don't know what you look wrote. Similar, yeah. so I just went twenty seven. Okay. I will and say. And then I, after when somebody else spoke, I was going to de- go down and take a peek. Hey, my fault. It was uh, twenty one. It's twenty seven. Yeah, right. it's twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the, the defense is real deal, the Patriots. I'm telling the Gonzalez. What what draft was it? What pick was number was it? How did he fall? I think to he was the a Patriots? first rounder, right? He was. Yeah. But, I mean, he is a lockdown corner. If I remember correctly I think he was a transfer guy I think he started at Colorado ended up in Oregon so like his first pick, 18th pick? yeah his first that's crazy that years, they got him there I think his first couple years at Colorado wasn't great just because the team was bad yeah, Colorado and then was he was good for a year at Oregon put, so. put Tyreek Hill in his back pocket said stay there little man <laughs> how are you feeling about the Patriots Jerry uh, I think I think yes. the Patriots are good man I think yeah. their defense is good uh I don't believe in Dak, so I'm going to take the Patriots. Our bet is going to be a war. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like oh, yeah. we got two very similar quarterback oh, yeah. teams going similar on. Similar teams, too. Yeah. Very similar teams. What do you think about uh, uh, Mac Jones? Colin Coward was talking about there's some stuff out we there. We talked about, know. listen, I, I, I don't agree with what he did. Uh, Penis we, grabbing? It, well, I, no, I'm going to say this. In terms of media members who shouldn't have done things, Kurt Schilling outing mm. yeah. um, Tim Wakefield <laughs> for having cancer when he didn't want to and making that big deal horrible, I put that too behind uh, Coward basically just throwing stuff into the ether that there's a problem with Matt Jones, but I'm not going to say it. Rude. Could be bad. You never know. Could, could be nothing. I didn't mind a little nut tap. By Matt Jones? Yeah. He got assaulted. <laughs> I know, but he always gets assaulted. Like he, he seems like somebody. People, I don't know what the price. You know, it's like, is it the Alabama thing? People just have it out for Mac. Well, he, he does it to himself. I've said it. I've said it before. It's his face. What he does? I think it's like his face. Is it I think like it's smug or something. No, it's, no, he does it's it to no. There's two things that have if happened you, to Mac Jones. So you'd let yourself just get body slammed, assaulted, and do nothing. But uh, you, know, John, he, you know he's he doing something. Little, you know that, he, but you know he's John. He's trying hurting people. He's done all this stuff. Hurting people, nut tap. No. He's also like twisted ankles right at the bottom of piles. Like he's doing stuff. I don't mind it. Like I'm like, I think it's funny, but yeah, he's but, got that stuff coming to him. No, I, I'm being dead honest. It's his face. He has the two things, the, the DUI picture where he had a little cry face. And then when he rolled his ankle and he was like, looked like he had gotten shot. Uh, Remember he was coming? Yes, in the no, tunnel. Mac mm-hmm. Jones needs to get a mustache, a face tattoo, something. Like I'm, I'm being it's dead serious. It's his face. It's not, it's not him. It's I think, his face. I, I think it, it's the two decade dynasty. And people get their shots in. That's what it is. You haven't made a little come at us for the better part of two decades. We're having a little bump, and everyone, this is what you do. Get us when we're a down. A little bump? Yeah. You guys are done. 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 He's a pro bowler. But here we go. <laughs> and it, he, they did bring this back up with James White last week about the Pro Bowl. I know James White was way too humble to even, like, jump into it, but he just sat there, and he was like, okay, yeah, my, Max, my guy. Tyler Huntley was a pro bowler. Different guys. Brady was the uh, sixth quarterback taken. Right, but the Pro Bowl just doesn't, like, they, they just invite anyone now. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what stop. I can do. He's a Pro Bowler. So is Mitch Trubisky. And he, is he even in the league anymore? Back up hey, quarterback Steelers. for the Steelers. Okay, well, Mac is a starter of a team that would, had the ball, not his fault, ready to beat the Eagles. And um, who's the other team that we – this Dolphins. Is our, so two of the arguably best teams in the NFL. We had him on the ropes. Not his fault. Guy can't get his foot in and a fumble. So. But you do realize, like, what you just said is a sign that maybe it's over because yeah. you're talking about losses. Though. You have a pro bowler. You're talking about close losses. Pro bowler, I, I pro bowler at quarterback this by saying and we're a little fighting bit, for third in the division. I said we're down and a bump in the road. Well, we have the best division of football, my man. No, you don't. No, you don't. Well – Dolphins, I've got to let this Bills. One play out. Who has a better one? <laughs> Nobody has a better one. Okay. Uh, Case, but I actually easy. think that's yeah. That no, easy. I easy think the AFC there. North and the NFC East have a conversation. Yeah, the Eagles and the Cowboys are definitely. I mean, that's that's a pretty in tough Washington. One. I mean, cow. You can't put the Cowboys and then just lost to Arizona. Yeah, but top to bottom, you saying best one two. Top to bottom is this AFC North. AFC North well, might be I, No, one, two, three. If no. it, the Jets I think AFC North might be it. Yes, though. it is. No. Yeah, I know. Ravens, no. Bengals, Steelers, Browns. 
Bengals are any team found right now. Tough. Any the team. Steelers are big with lipstick. Any team can win that division. Any team. Yeah, no, but you that know doesn't the mean it's the best. It's a conversation. I, I, They're on top of the division. Yeah, we got dementia. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> top of the, he's getting senile on us. <laughs> top of the division right now. Let's move to the game of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. And before we talk about the game, so this is officially Lucas edits because Lucas now has a yeah, job, we correct? Yeah, Lucas. I so, him out of the mud. so two weeks ago, the Jerry edits, which I thought were great, uh, Dan told me the Lucas edits. So uh, I met with Lucas. Lucas came down. He, he was in Miami. He, he was a server at P.F. Chang's. Um, met with him, and I got the, you know, the whole history of him. He's been working his ass off. Jerry, I don't know how he found Jerry. I think he was emailing everybody, and Jerry was the only one who replied. Um, <laughs> well, he I, pays Jerry's, he, he takes care of Jerry's uh, phone bill. Phone bill. Yeah, that, that, that's a lie, though. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Jerry. Takes care of some stuff. Yeah, so I, I got all the real behind. That was what? a little, little. What does he take care of, then? He does everything else for. Yeah, me. But, you know, he, he's reached out. He's, we, you can tell who's smart guys and who's not smart guys because he reached out to Nikki Smokes to help him. Nikki Smokes did not get back to him. No. No, idiot. Like, the guy's clearly talented. So, uh, and I, li- I like guys who did what he did. In the shadows for, it sounds like a little over a year. A year, year and a half. A yeah. Year and, like, year and like three months. Yeah. So never, That's never crazy, asking Jerry. really for anything. No. Maybe Jerry would slide him a 20 every. every Come on. They don't months. do that. It was more than a 20. 50? 75 to 100. 50 yeah, so, sometimes. 50 Not, not enough to live on. His mother's like, what are you doing with your life? He actually, uh, he went to some sort of like smart person school for a bit. Quit. Like, I don't know, what, I forget what it was. Something you need, like, a uh, postgraduate degree. He's like, I don't want to do it with my life. I'm going to figure out a way to enjoy doing what I'm doing. And then he's, he, Jerry and him hooked up. So he earned it. He earned the shot. So Lucas edits. He's, he's moving to Chicago. Um, Love it. That's amazing. Office. He's going to be my guy. Wait, how old is he? He's young. <laughs> he's not old. You got 25% of him. I got 25% of him and 25% of Jerry. Yeah. Which is so You know what the question Early was. 20s. The question I had. And everything I asked from Jerry, he's just going to make Lucas do. Yeah. So he I got 50%, 50% of Lucas. You know what the talent was for Lucas? Ed? It's what I wanted to meet. First of all, I, I figured he'd be crazy, so I wanted to meet him. He has a crazy vibe to him a little bit. Well, yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, but I was like, are you, are you editing these videos to the best of your ability or are you like putting yourself in the mind of Jerry to make them? He's like, I'm putting myself in the mind of Jerry. <laughs> That's a really good talent. Yes. Like a real, to make those the way he makes them just perfectly bad but good enough. So welcome, Lucas. Lucas edits. So okay. it ended up being a good thing that on this very show last time you were Lucas. here, you, yeah. Yeah, you found out that, <laughs> that he was doing it. So let's roll Lucas edits, Jerry edits, whatever we're calling it. Let's roll Lucas, it. Lucas, Lucas. Presented by Jerry. <laughs> Lucas edits. I was also kind of sold the second you say work with BMG. <laughs> ah, ah! I got no sound. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Go. I like that. <laughs> Normally he's writing. He's right. it. So he's a righty. He's the Dragon Pizza guy. Very good. Very good. Welcome, Lucas Edits. Welcome, Lucas. All right, Dan, what do you think about this game? The Dolphins at the Bills. Bills favored by two and a half. I love this game so, so much that I've been flirting with game of the year. I think I'll just make it a nuclear missile whale play. But I love, love, love the Bills in this game. I think that uh, the Bills losing week one set a perception that they have issues because you obviously came off the Bengals' playoff loss. What they did the last two weeks, they absolutely demolished the Raiders, absolutely demolished the Commanders. They had nine sacks last week. The Dolphins are good, 
But we saw it, Dave, to, to the Patriots' credit, they were able to contain them a little bit. Uh, and a lot of it. A lot of it. And I think that this game is all Bills. I think this is where the Dolphins get a little bit of a reality check. And I might just have – it might just simply be a rule going forward that if a team scores 70 points, I'm mm -hmm. fading them the next week. So I think the Bills, this is – they're going to be up for this. All the talk is about the Dolphins. All the talk is about how you can't stop this defense – or this offense – I think the Bills are going to smash them. Will? Smash. I got some good news for you, BC. Teams that scored 60-plus oh. are 0-7 against the spread in their next wow. game since 1970. I love That's it. That's a good stat. I, I, I'm really like, if you I, – I threw this out there on advisors, but if the Bills had won that week one game, because obviously Josh Allen had a bad game, four interceptions, they go to overtime. If the Bills had won that week one game, this line would be like four and a half, five. Instead, they lost it, and I don't think – like, I think people are hanging up too much about that week one game and giving the Dolphins a little too much credit. So, I, yeah, I think it's and, Bills. Yeah, you're right, too, because they, they've been awesome, like, the last two weeks. They're 51 – they're converting 51% on third down. The offense is awesome. The defense is good. They're the, the number two defense is yards and points. They're getting sacks, right. And I think – I do. They I have, like the, the Bills. The Dolphins have not like been tested Bills. to the point of what the Bills are going to do. Dave, what do you think? So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell the truth here. Before Dan started speaking, I was on the Dolphins, and it, did he convince me? He came pretty close. But... 1-0 in our last uh, nuclear missile whale place. No, I know. Yeah, and you can't mess with that. But here's the thing. I did bet the Dolphins to win the Super Bowl last year once the Patriots had done that. So I was convinced they were the real deal. Tua got a concussion. I pressed send on my bet. Tua concussed. End of the bet. <laughs> I think the Dolphins are the real deal when two is – I think – we've talked about it. I think the only, the only chink in the armor for the Dolphins is to his brain. A healthy Tua, I don't think that offense gets stopped. I think they're that good. I'm taking the Dolphins. You know who – hang on. We, got, we, got, we still got a shot here. You know who started that injury last year? Bills. Matt Milano, olive oil himself. Listen. Olive oil. Listen. Hey, and, and at Buffalo – I. One so one of my Bills are seven and zero. Bills, oh. <laughs> Bills are seven and zero. Oh. Bills are seven and zero oh at home in their last seven Sorry. against the Dolphins. This is a nine and one in their last this ten. Diff this different Dolphins team to me, and the, even Dolphins gave them a little trouble in the playoff yeah, they did. game they without did. to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Frank the Tank. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm t I I think the Dolphins are a legitimate Super Bowl favorite with a healthy Tua. So I'm, what about the Bills right now? You don't think that they're a Super Bowl contender right now? I, Listen, I, I, I'm not sold that all the problems that we thought they had in week one are suddenly gone by the... He's, he's the week one yeah. people that you're talking yeah. about. No, no, no. Just I actually, under the radar. I'll, say, I'll even go further. I think week one was the best thing that could happen to the Bills. Oh, uh, yeah. Because they oh, were trying to that. turn the page, and then they had that week one happen. They're like, fuck, we got like, to change how we think about these games going into these games. We are a very good team. Let's start acting like it. When James White was here last week, we talked about young running backs, and obviously Devon Achan had an incredible game incredible. last week. I, I, the Dolphins, and this is – Their speed is insane. i, I got to tell yeah, you something. I, I just stopped playing fantasy football. It ruins the way I look and watch football because I'm betting and I pay attention to the fantasy. That guy, Mozart, who is on my Mostert, yeah. fantasy team, they hate him in my game. They refuse to let him be the, the primary ball carrier, and all he does is put up huge stats. He's got injury stuff, so I think they're trying to make sure that – he doesn't get injured. Same but yeah. thing with Gibbs last night. Oh, boy. Yeah, Gibbs Montgomery. last night. Anyways, I'm going to take the Dolphins. I, I, I do think they're the real deal. If I had to power rank the division right now, I'm going Dolphins one, Bills two, Patriots three, Jets four. Uh, no, I think that's fair. I'll just, I just, yeah. I think Bills get it. it. Am I going to be shocked if the Bills win? No, clearly. So then why mess with a nuclear whale missile? No, it's fine. Play? That's like your favorite line to, like, get out of something. What? I, I'm not, I won't be shocked if this right. happens. Right. Me? He just called you out. <laughs> Two and a half no, not like spread. not like personally, but like I'm saying in general, you know. That's like the best line to get out of something. Like, oh, I won't be shocked if this team wins. It, it, I, I'm not overly confident the, the Dolphins are going to win. It's a, it's a two and a half point I, I spread. Said. Yeah. He's is it, not making – Is it a, a Dave? No, 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 no. no okay. It's not a Dave. Okay. My point is Dave's not defense, a Dave. He's not making a nuclear male whale missile play the other way. No, it wasn't a Dave thing. It was yeah. a generalized yeah. thing. It sounded yeah. like a Dave. Because no. after they say the Bills win, it's got – yeah, I mean, I did say <laughs> oh. I wasn't going to be surprised. So you're kind of like – it's an insurance Taking policy. both. Well, no, I mean, it, I think 
it's fair to say you don't have a strong opinion on a game. I'd be shocked if the Dolphins win. You like that? Shocked. Yeah. I like it. I do. Yeah. I like that. You like that? I like that. Let's, Let's move. That's on the table. Yeah. What, I got every game has to be a nuclear missile. What? No, what? no, Dave. I'm just... What's your problem? Yeah, you, General, did, <laughs> you, you did say you use that, so it did sound like you were talking no, directly no. to him. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tension on this set. Let's move to the gotta have it pick. You no, know it is. Of he starts week. losing his bets, and he thinks he's uh, underpaid, and then he thinks it's my fault. <laughs> Jerry. That's what's going yes. on. Yes. Jerry, do you he's, think you're underpaid? No, not at all. No, okay. remember, Jerry, we had that conversation. No. Prorated. No, I'm you're, not underpaid. You're the highest paid guy at Barstool. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> underpaid. Pro-rated. I'm paid very well here, and I'm very happy. Okay, that's, that's good. Good vibes. The got to have it pick of the week, Dan. I mean, week four, the Chicago Bears. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's, I mean, they, they are playing the Broncos. They, they are playing it. the Broncos who stink. Yeah, no, the Broncos stink, but the Bears are the worst <laughs> team in the NFL. Uh, what a shit game. This is the – all right, so it is a shit game, but I actually think it's going to be a fun game because I think both defenses are so bad that it could be a shootout. <laughs> I actually think that it could be a shootout. And it, and it usually plays that way in the NFL where you're like, this game sucks. And it's like, whoa, this game was the most fun game. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is it. This is I, – I, I, the Bears season is over. I, I want to make sure I'm very clear. The Bears season is over. Justin Fields will not be the Bears quarterback next year. But in terms of do you have any pride, like do you have just the ability to just get off the mat and just show that you have any life, this is it. This is their last chance to show they have any life. Again, the season's over. They're not going to win more than like three or four games at most. But this is the one spot where you're at home. You're playing against a Broncos team that's in complete disarray uh, who just lost by 50. If you have any pride, you win this game. Any pride. It is they might not have pride. <laughs> <laughs> they, might. they might not. But it is they, they, like this is the line in the sand of – like, are we going to go 0-17 or are we going to win three games? That's really what's yeah. being decided. It's a very gross game, though. Just yeah. overall, just not a fun game. Okay, Will. The Bears are so bad, I'm, I haven't been noticing. I see headlines, and I don't even know what's true. It's like that the feds are at people's houses. Yeah. Like, their equipment's being stolen out yeah. of the stadium. Yeah. It's like, they're no, it's, just it's, losing. No, it's a clown like show. crazy headlines. They, there's even one worse. <laughs> they, they, I saw a... It's a real headline. No, the yeah, no. Like showed up. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What are you talking about the there, feds? And all of a sudden, we haven't heard about it since last week. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, what is happening yeah. in Chicago? The, right um, all, like, the surrounding... So not in Chicagoland, but, like, all the surrounding states, like Iowa, Wisconsin, like, even going out west, like, Montana, who is Broncos country... All of the local CBS affiliates have basically uh, like talked to to the CBS and being like, "Please let us show the Dolphins versus Bills and not this game." And they're all granting it. So it's like basically just not going to be on TV. That's how bad they That's, are. I mean, it's probably they had to like reason. they had to like do a protest at the at the different like affiliates, being like, "Don't make us show this game." Yeah, that's a game you just want to check your phone and be like, "Oh, so and so won." Yeah, they should. They should. I really do think they should flex games like this to like 6 a.m. Unless because then at 6 a.m. you're half asleep. You don't care. It's football. It's a standalone game. Like, you'll take whatever. Unless you're a Broncos oh, shit. or Broncos a Bears won fan. seven to two. Yeah, yeah. who cares? Unless yeah. you're a fan of one of these teams and you watch – like, if you watch this game, there's something wrong. No, but I – no, I actually disagree. I think oh. that even as a fan of this team, I don't want to watch this game. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, I'm going to watch it, but I don't want – if you told me, like, you can only watch one game, the Bills and Dolphins or the Broncos and Bears, yeah, That's still? not. Dude, they're so bad. Yeah, but I want guys, to watch good guys, football. They give you score first drive of the game. Now, right back. Oh, oh, back, okay, let's back, go. all the way back, yeah, all the way back. No, no, I listen. Once the once the ball gets kicked off, we're back. Will yeah. who's gonna win, the Broncos or the Bears? Yeah, uh, Bears did wi- just saying this winning time. What when's winning time in a football game? Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. <laughs> fourth quarter. <laughs> the, bear, the Bears, Bears are plus three and a half. No, so. no the bear, the Bears beat the Chiefs ten nothing in the fourth quarter last week. Great. Good way to end it. Good way to end it. Turn the ball over twice. There was something nice, too, about, like, was. it wasn't just that they got obliterated. It was the fact the entire world, male, female, Taylor <laughs> Swift, they were just, pardon me, Taylor Swift. I, listen, everyone knows I'm a big Swifty. I'm wearing a friendship bracelet right now. Even I thought it was disrespectful, the 41 nothing celebration. Well, like, I mean, I it mean, was just has she ever, has she ever 41 been a football game nothing, like that? and she's acting like they just no. won the Super Bowl. It's, I get your guys. Everyone's scored. trying to get Travis to score. Like, <laughs> yeah. that is no, I, I said it in the moment. No, I said no, no, it in the no, no, moment. No. She's never gotten to be like a wag like that. She's always the one that yeah, celebrated. 40, she needs, yeah, no, she no, needs no, to be able to celebrate. Yeah, but 41 nothing. But that doesn't matter. Think about the community. It doesn't matter. 
mattered. It mattered, but not to her. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, I let's said, make sure the cameras are up. Like, yeah. there's another team yeah. out there. I, yeah. Yeah. I said <laughs> it. I said it in the moment. The Bears are invite your new girlfriend because you're gonna look awesome, bad. Yeah. Like they are McNeese State scheduling McNeese State on you know <laughs> it, in it, September. They are so bad that it's like. If, if you're, like, trying to impress a girl and you're like, hey, watch me play this basketball game against a bunch of, like, six-year-olds. I, you just picture <laughs> That's what it was. You, you picture all this going on. The, the hoopla everyone's talking about is not more trend. All, and then just a bunch of Eddies sitting in Chicago yeah, we're, watching we're, this but, debacle happen. Yeah. Hey, like, pulling up their phone down and seeing a face. clip yes. of Taylor getting yeah. pushed around in yeah. a popcorn thing. Just like, a we, bunch we, of she's fat she's Chicago guys. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. She's it doing sucks. Like we're so bad. Pumping. But Dave, as a Swifty, if she didn't celebrate that, then you'd no, be like, no, well, she doesn't really like him that much. I mean, that was It was bad scene. It was bad scene. I think it's okay. Somebody like that famous never gets to be normal. She was being normal her guy that, just scored that, I, I, celebrating like that up 41 nothing is not normal. it was like she For celebrated her, like the it nobody. was the go-ahead touchdown Correct. in the super bowl Correct. I, right. I thought it was very cute okay who's winning this game will broncos dave broncos okay will your got to have a pick of the week is the vikings at the panthers i think this is it i think vikings get one they are the best winless team in the league right now i like them at carolina i like them to cover four and a half this is the week Okay. This is the week. I like the Vikings. Uh, I, yeah, the Vikings are – it's basically what we all predicted. They went 11-1 and one last year in one-score games, 0-3 in one-score games this year. Kirk Cousins is leading the league in passing. Justin Jefferson is leading the league in receiving. Their defense is just that bad. I would have liked the Panthers if Andy Dalton played, but it's Bryce Young again. So I, I'll, I'll go with the Vikings with you. Dave? So my, my game was uh, – Oh, no, you got to pick this game. You have to pick game. this game first. Oh. Vikings or Panthers? Vikings. Okay. And then your game was the Seahawks at the Giants. Yeah. You're taking the Seahawks. I, I'm going a little different. Like, um, I don't – must have 0-3. Oh, Both those teams, I think, are done. Seahawks, I look for games that will determine is this team in it for the long haul. Are we going to have to pay attention to them? If we are, they have to be the Giants. We're 1-2. and two. If they lose this game, I think you can kind of write – I actually think maybe you – sort of look at the Giants a little bit. But the Seahawks, if you have visions of making the postseason, this has to be a win for mm -hmm. the Seahawks. So this is a must-have for me. Dan, who's winning this game? I, I had no By the way, I think the Giants are going to win. Yeah, no, I, I – so wait, you're picking the Giants? I'm picking the Giants, Oh, okay. it's a must-have for yeah, yeah. the Seahawks. Right, yeah. Right, and right. I did have I a question. Okay. question. Like, each week we're trying to, like – yeah, you can who's got to have it? Yeah, yeah. But is that like our pick for? No, the no, game? no. He he did it correctly. This is a got to have it for the Seahawks, but he's picking the Giants. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I their season on the line to me right. this week for Seattle. I know it's early, but this you, if they you want to be for real. Yeah. Uh, I had no opinion on this game, and then Stu Finer said that it's the game of his career. So he said uh, this is the game of his career. Game yeah. of his career. He <laughs> said so that what he's, is he taking? he's <laughs> taking the Giants. So I will okay. also take the Giants. This is game of his career. He also said that he's sitting in the owner's box, and I was like, "Stu, tell the truth." He's like, "Well, it's the box next to the owner." Um, so <laughs> game of the career. I have to ride with Stu on his game <coughs> of his career. I don't know why. With a one and a half point made spread. Me remind what, one year we were going to the Super Bowl, and Stu claimed he was buying like eight suites. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I'm going to buy the whole stadium and we're going to have all bar stools. Like, all the suites of the Super Bowl are going to be mine. Yes. <laughs> what, game, what, what Super Bowl was it? I, don't, I can't even remember, but it was he, – he was, I do remember him being <laughs> like, I'm buying – like, do you want to go to the Super Bowl? And I was like, no, not really. He's like, okay, well, I'm buying for all bar stools. It's like, what? All the suites. Yeah. He's like, I'm buying all the suites of the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Stu. He Stu. also says he's buying a $10 million penthouse uh, overlooking Lake Michigan and a $2 million boat. That's his next drink. Movie right. theater. Yeah. Stu yeah. made a movie theater in his house. He's <laughs> Stu made a lot of people mad at, or mostly the Swifties. I didn't even watch it. Yeah. He, Kelly Keyes. And, and I saw it. I, I didn't want to get into it. Like, I, my old, because some Swifties were seeing it. And it's not like, I almost going to be like, well, he's like an old creepy man who ranks girls in our office by looks. You can't pay any attention to what he says. But I just left it alone. I didn't even watch it's, it. Don't don't watch I it. I didn't watch it. Yeah, Kelly and like, Gio were unfair like. It's unfair for so, for a Swifty to just happen to bump into a Stu Finer rant that I know it's, is about like I saw Dua Lipia, whatever. Like I know, <laughs> I know Stu. I'm not offended by it because I know Stu. There should be a disclaimer. 
creepiest old man on the planet. He, he, threw, around, he threw it around. I know you didn't. I know you didn't watch it, but he he not only like talked about Taylor's looks, but he even said like Swifties can suck my cock. He yeah, can't. Well, he can't but be. Is saying that, that supposed to be remotely surprising to me? No. No, but to Swifties, you can understand. So that's that. why it should have a disclaimer: <laughs> creepiest old guy in the world. <laughs> Will, who are you taking the Seahawks I'm or the Giants? I'm going Seattle. I feel okay. like they've been injured in the uh, the back end. I think they're getting healthy. I like I like Seattle. They have a good run game too. Let's move to the rapid fire games of the week presented by Body Armor. Jerry, are, are we doing yep. water this week? Yep. or yep. Yep. Okay. Jerry will make sure we give us water. So we all have Body Armor in front of us. This is the Cherry Lime, the super drink. We love Body Armor. Body Armor is available in stores nationwide, but you can head over to the Body Armor store at Amazon and get yours today. It is the official water of Barstool Sports. Let's start with the London game, the Falcons at the Jags. Will, I will start with you. The Jags favored by three. I don't know. Strong take. <laughs> I don't know. Where's your job? Bring it to the bring it to the hoop, Will. <laughs> Everybody Dan, where you going with this? Right, I'll, 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 I do Dan, know because I actually this? prep and, and, and have my well, Listen, I prep. I'm just saying right, I don't know. This is a weird there's game. No, a there's no, Jerry, you have no problem with that? <laughs> what? You get your on me for saying I wouldn't be shocked if I was wrong. He just said, I don't know. I don't know to what? Never mind. Get know, I'm saying I don't know there's yet. We're all going to go with Jacksonville, Jerry, Atlanta, and London. At this point in the week, there's no game Casey can say that I don't have an opinion on. I have an opinion well, on every game. Opinion. It could be wrong. I get I it. Opinion. Come back to me. Just okay. come back right. to me. Right. I have an opinion. Right. I just right. don't know yet. Let me. Dan, let me okay. talk me into it. Dan, the Jaguars. The Jaguars, the Jaguars, the Jaguars. The Falcons have had a nice little start to the Thank season, you. You two and that. one. The Jaguars uh, look bad. They're one and two, uh, and that Chiefs game was bad. That Texans game was bad. Marvel. The Jaguars do stop the run. That's the one part of their defense that is very good. The Falcons want to run the ball. Trevor Lawrence also, uh, the Jaguars are leading the league in drop passes. So I don't think it's a Trevor Lawrence problem. I think it's a whole, like, drop passes, Calvin Ridley uh, you gotta, you gotta fucking bring the ball into your chest. Like, you, what are you doing? Like, there's, there, he had a couple that were like, what the fuck is going on right here? I think the Jaguars are getting their best effort. They also are really good in London. That's their home away from home. They're doing two London games back to back. I think it's the Jaguars. Dave, math game here. Uh, one and two, versus two and one. They're both 500-ish teams. I certainly don't think they're better than 500-ish teams. So uh, I don't see the Falcons getting that three and one. Let's keep everything even, 500 teams. I'll take the Jags. Math, they're due to win. Okay, Will? I like what you were saying. Okay. I'm going okay. Jaguars. So do you I like need that. to be on the show anymore, or should I just? <laughs> That's just one game. That's just one game. Should That's I just, just one give game. my opinion? And we could have like a, 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 like a Tickle Me Elmo, Will Compton doll. It's like, I agree. <laughs> That's <laughs> nuts. Strength. I can't just have, I can't just have it. I don't know. This game okay. seems a little tough. Okay. Okay. I'd love okay. to hear what okay. you think. Okay. Lead the league okay. and drop okay. passes. I love that stat. Yeah. Now I'm on board. It's a good stat. Home away from home. That's You've sold stat. me. I like Jacksonville, and I feel great about it. Will, I will give you another chance. Okay, we're going to start with you. The Tough Rams <laughs> at the Colts, which is essentially a pick at this point. The Colts are plus one. Will, who is winning this game? Colts. Okay. <laughs> I like the Colts. I think the Colts are nice. I think Minshew, nice. Minshew Mayhem, whatever you want to say, still playing. Uh, no, I know he's, he's Anthony. Not. Anthony's coming back. <laughs> but, but I'm saying even if he wasn't, even if he wasn't, I like. I like. That's uh, a good hot take, though. You like the Colts because of Minshew <laughs> Mayhem. Even yeah, I'm just playing. saying the boys rally when you have the back. Everybody's right. counting okay. you out. Okay. So you know that, what I'm saying? No, it's a nice segue. Colts. Because I like the Colts. Thank you, Will. They got a uh, tough team. They if got a good if team. Gardner Minshew was playing in this game, I'd take the Colts because he's not. I'm taking the Rams. Okay, Dave. You never know with the concussion. You never know what the math game, game. <laughs> another math game. Rams one and two, Colts two and one. I think they stay grouped together. This is a parody league. I'll take the Rams. Dan, the Bengals at the Titans. That's the a great. That's a that's a great take. What? Just math. Hey, one's two and one, one's one and two. Let's parody let's... league. It is. You just have to be like confident. <laughs> confident in your pick. Like you just have to be confident. Like I understand the, the game. Like, I understand the game. But when I'm unconfident, I'm going to be wait, confident no, no, in not no, knowing. No, no, you no. Have you got to visualize. Like, you got to visualize. Do you see the Colts being, being three like and one. a three-one tennis? Yeah, it's a yeah. close your okay, eyes. There you go. I don't. Yeah. They have a good team. Okay, Dan. The Bengals at the Titans. The Bengals. Hired the right guy too. The Bengals are favored by two and a half. Yeah, I love the Bengals in this game. So here's where I'm at with the Titans. And I think I said that one of my dumb opinions week one or two is the Titans could maybe win the AFC South. I have now gotten off that line of thinking. Mike Rabel's a fantastic head coach. In the past, the Titans, when you count them out, that's when they rally. When they're underdogs, that's when they show up. 
I think the Titans might just be bad this year. And I think it's a transition year. I think they know it's a transition year. I think Derrick Henry might be hitting the cliff. It's going to be – Why you – you? Because he's your guy. He is my guy. He's 30 years old. He's 1,800 carries. About to be 30 years old, 1,800 carries. I think the Titans might just be bad this year. And I think what the uh, Bengals did on Monday night, I know Joe Burrow's hurt. I know he's not going to be 100% for a while. Maybe not all year. But the Bengals' defense is what impressed me on Monday night. And I think that's what wins them this game. Dave. No, I agree. I, yeah, go ahead. Oh, or Will, go ahead. I was just going to say I agree. I mean, even Derrick Henry, he's not even getting the majority of the snaps in the That's the transition I'm and, talking about. And yeah. when he is, like, that offense is built to win at the line of scrimmage, and they don't. He's getting hit in the backfield, and Derrick's just not – like, he is. He's my boy. He's just not the back that's going to get you out of a mess when you're getting hit in the backfield. And Very few are. Vrabel, you can see it right now. He, he, hey, wear black to the stadium. They're calling for a funeral. We're dead. It's over. He's going to motivate them in all the right ways. But I do think it's a, it's a down year. I, I think the Bengals win this one and cover. Yeah, the Bengals, to me, that was a huge win for them last week. And, you know, they are showing – to me, they're starting to be one of those teams that you can kind of count on. Um, that's going to be there at the end. Yeah. And they know they're going to be there at the end, and they don't get phased by the 0-2 start. They start rounding into shape. I don't know when you bet them to win the Super Bowl last year, Dan. But It was like, it was like <laughs> mid-November. Yeah, I, I, I think the Bengals are going to start yeah. stringing them together again. I like the Bengals. I might bet them to win the Super Bowl right now. Yeah, that's what 16 I'm saying. 16 to 1. Yeah, that's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Yeah. What were they at the beginning of the season? Like eight? Yeah, they were like nine, ten yeah, to one. Yeah, they, they did this last year. They right. Were, and, and that defense is good. The defense has been good enough to win the Super Bowl every year that they've been contending. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I like the Bengals, and, and they're the real deal. And Burrow's the real deal. I like what he said. He couldn't afford to go on three. That's what he's playing. They find a way to win. Bengals. Dave, Bucks at Saints. The Saints favored by three and a half. Jameis revenge game. Yep. Uh, two, two, and one teams. I'm going to take the Saints at home. Dan? Uh, I am going to take the Bucks. I love Jameis Winston. Alvin Kamara is back this week, so that should help the Saints. But I just think this is a division game. The Bucks obviously, they, they took a step up in class on Monday Night Football against the Eagles. They were kind of exposed, like, hey, we're not there yet. I think it's a step down in class going against the Saints. The offense has not looked great for the Saints. I think it's going to be a tight game, field goal game. Both good defenses, know each other well. I, I'll take the three and a half. Will? It's a tough game. It's a tough game. I do like the Saints. <laughs> I like the Saints. I like the Saints. Kamara's back. They're going to get They're going to get the offense moving a little bit. I like the Saints. Yeah, I, I stole one last week because I didn't know that the Saints were wearing the road. The Stormtroopers, I never bet against that. And the Packers came storm from behind to win it. Well, that was the double. There's yeah, they never just got to finish, man. There's never been a more perfect storm of jinxes. Because yeah. I tweeted that Jordan Love is not the guy. And then Bosco tweeted, Saints are a sleeping giant. And then it was like literally those tweets back to back, Packers come And right I had the reverse because yeah. I had it. I lost right off kickoff when I saw the uniforms. Those yeah. Stormtroopers, they generally win it. Yes. Okay, Jerry, the Steelers at the Texans. How are you feeling? Good. I feel really good, confident about this game. Um, Steelers' defense is undeniable top five in the NFL. They're that good. Uh, this is a good game for Kenny Pickett. Oh, what? I mean, they are. You were literally saying the only player who shows up is T.J. Watt a couple weeks ago, and now they're a top five defense in the NFL? They are. I mean, look at the numbers. <laughs> they're I mean, a pig with lipstick. I'm just letting you know. Look at the numbers. They're a pig with lipstick. What does that mean? They're a pig with lipstick. I, I mean, I'm not that smart. Explain it. They'll get exposed. Like the, pig, about, with pig, the Texans? If you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. It's still ugly. Yeah. Yeah, like the Steelers, they just find – I'm not interested in really – Anything what you're except T.J. Watt. You no, know, I, I love T.J. Watt. But this is a good game for the Steelers to get right. Stroud has looked great throwing the ball. He's not going to be able to do that against the Steelers. He's just not. Steelers are going to win this game probably by double digits. So you're, you're high on the Steelers again. Yeah, this week, yes. This is a get right, Kenny Pickett, get right, have that three touchdown game, three uh, no interceptions, 300 yards. This is a good game for him to get right. A few weeks ago you were like dead on this team, so this, we're this back. This team just wins. I mean, they just win. Year after year they just okay. win. They're just winners. Okay. Mike Tomlin doesn't lose. He loses, but he doesn't lose it. <laughs> okay. Dan, are you riding with your guy? No, everything Jerry said is exactly why I like the Texans. Uh, <laughs> Mike Tomlin is a coach that you can count on. When he's an underdog, you bet him. When he's a favorite on the road, you go against him. So 
I like the, I like the Texans. I think C.J. Stroud has been phenomenal. I think he broke the record for most pass completions without interception from a rookie. And, yeah, I, 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 it's a spot game for me. The Steelers as a favorite on the road. They're the better team, but you're the it's spot It's a spot third. game. They're coming off the, the, the Sunday night game against the Raiders. I just – it's a spot game. So, Will, you, you, know if they're the better team. you obviously are having an issue with, with what Jerry's saying. So, are you taking the Texans? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm taking the Texans. Okay. You get a big win and beat uh, Jacksonville's ass like you did last week. And C.J. Stroud, he hasn't thrown any picks. He's averaging over three yards a game, uh, 300 yards a game. I just think, like, that momentum with D'Amico Ryans, uh, Bobby Sloak being the O.C., being, coming from that 49ers culture, I just feel like they're – it's coming. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the Dan Campbell stuff. You get a new regime. I think the boys are playing, and C.J. Stroud, it seems like he's the guy. Dave. So I like the Texans. I love the Texans. Okay. I think they, I think they win Three this game. Three suckers. Double digits. Three suckers. Three suckers. Three. I, I, I get what Jerry's saying. The Steelers are one of those franchises that, you know, post winning records. But I, I don't think they're very good. And I think the Texans win this game big. 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 They're going to win it Big. Big. They also, the Steelers have the Ravens next week. Big. Which I, I know look ahead yeah, look, spots, maybe not yeah, as it, much in the NFL, but that, tell again, again. Tell them again. Big. It's not, it's not, I'm telling you, this is, this is going to be a slaughter fest and this game. Let me go That's ahead, what it is. Let me what go, does Mike Tomlin do Let me go ahead and run through the numbers of the Steelers on Uh-oh. defense. 29th in total yards, 22nd passing defense, tied for 29th in rushing, 18th in points. 13th on third down now, percentage. Now, we should top say, five. we so should say. Lion, then? Top five. Well, They're a bottom half defense. No, not. They I did play the, the Niners week one, good. and the Niners absolutely put it on them. But, yeah, those numbers are not great for top five. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, that, I, argument I, top that, five. that math don't work. They're not. They're not I, I test the top five. But the top numbers. Five. Listen, You're a numbers they, guy. They, they played uh, Nick Chubb, and they went against McCaffrey. The rushing I'm not worried about. They shut down Josh Jacobs, last year's Russian leader. Shut him down. Jerry Easy. also does a, very, got out of Jerry does a funny thing where every good player on Sunday that we see, like Christian McCaffrey will rip off like a 50-yard touchdown run, and Jerry's like, he, he's a stealer. That's stealer blood in him. He looks like, <laughs> like you can, Listen, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so confident in this game. And Dan is right with Mike Tomlin. He's not correct on the road. As against, a favorite. Uh, as a favorite against lesser teams. The Steelers' culture is, is, is different this year. I'm telling you, it's different. I, the text messages I've been getting, oh. the videos I've been seeing, this is a double-digit win for the Steelers. Who are you, you getting these text messages from? I can't say that. Oh, okay. How confident are you? Tell us. I, I am all. more to lie. I am 99% confident this will be a double-digit win for the Steelers. You can take that. Are you, are you guys, He's you guys also retired from thing. gambling. Yeah. And I've been red hot. I mean red hot. Anything I touch. Just winner, 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 loser. Winner, 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 loser. Winner, 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 loser. That's how hot I am. Unfortunately, what he just said, those are three parlays, and those are all loser parlays. <laughs> <laughs> winner, 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 loser, all in the same parlay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> still winning. I mean, I'm losing. We'll see. But I'm still, yeah, no, you're losing. losing. Yeah. Still, 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 still. At, at 1 p.m. on Sunday, I'm, in a, I'm assuming you'll be streaming this game, and I'm going yes. to be watching you. Yes. Okay, so, Will, you liked the Commanders. They obviously had a tough week last week, but Commanders with the Eagles, the Eagles favored by 8.5. Are you still high on the Commanders? or? I don't know. I do think they get back on track. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, was quick. that was a quick. You realized it. Uh, no, 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 no. It's tough. You lose like that to Josh Allen. That's why I think they beat the Dolphins because Josh Allen, he's out there. He was messing them up, and he's trying to dap up fans in the stands. With that said, Washington plus eight and a half. Dan. Yeah, I'm taking the Eagles here. A uh, couple reasons. One, the Commanders beat the Eagles last year, so they're not going to overlook them. That's, that, that definitely sticks in your head, especially because they were undefeated at the time. The Commanders' offensive line is a problem. They gave up nine sacks last week to the Bills. They've given up 19 sacks so far this season through three games. Guess what the Eagles have on their side? A pretty good defensive line. I don't think it's going to be good for the, for the commanders. They couldn't run the ball against the Bills. They're not going to be able to run the ball against the Eagles. You're going to put Sam Howell in some tough, tough spots. I think the Eagles win this game uh, handily. Also, t- I never got your take. What did you think about Che getting called out by Jalen Hurts? I liked it. There was – there was – Philly it, is if, bad yeah, as yeah, well, I saw – yeah. The, oh, you – I put that into my fantasy chat. Oh. You think pro athletes like seeing a Mike guy Trout said, was mad, he said. Very mad. Yes, yes. Very mad. He, yes. he, he was, uh, what was the, 
Bud. He was butting him. Oh. Not the right take, Bud. Oh. Take that back, Bud. That's oh. not the look. Machado was not happy about it. A lot of guys not like you don't root for athletes together. I knew they'd get mad I, about I, that. Oh, you see what the commission said? Yeah. Put it right in the chat. <laughs> it's also <laughs> I've, I've, it's I've, I've, to the wolf. I've told this to Stephen Shea. I don't know if it's fully like gone into his brain because it's a tough brain to get into. This is the most important game of his life. Because if, if Jalen Hurts gets hurt. But he's, he did. He's dead. Phil Sims kind. Of, I mean, the, Chris Sims, Chris Sims yeah, kind of took the heat him, away. Yeah. And was was not joking around. I thought was that what Hertz was talking about? Or was he talking about? Chet? No, Chris Sims was after. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was talking about Che. Good, good, he was talking good. about Che. Che is a Che is a needle mover. <laughs> he gets people talking. <laughs> I'm, it's crazy. I'm mad. Apparently, I, I'm I, mad. I like the Eagles so much here. I'm putting the advisor coat on. I'll take the Commanders because I re- like I I love the Eagles here. Eagles are very good. They're they're. Obviously, could have won the Super Bowl last year, 3-0. They got all the parts. I will say the one thing that Philly people are doing that I don't like, the Jalen, what was the defense lineman? Jalen Carter. Carter. Everyone's like, oh, how do we get him? Well, you got him because he was involved in murder. Yeah. So, like, that is <laughs> why death, he fell yeah. down. He fell. Yeah, right. And he's like, imagine he fell murder. to us. Well, yeah. it's like there's, yeah, like, this isn't like somebody who, who was missed. Everyone knew he was great. I, he had some serious issues surrounding him in still court case. So let's I, just slow down I, on that. Thank you for saying that because the Bears obviously had the ninth pick and they didn't take him. They took Darnell Wright instead, and then he went to he went 10 to Philly. So Philly fans are like, oh, could you imagine him on the Bears? If he was on the Bears, he wouldn't be playing right now. He'd be he would have quit football. He'd be drag racing. Right, down like you Michigan Ave. They're, 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 <laughs> the Eagles was the perfect situation for him. That's a veteran locker room, a veteran defensive line. That's like funny. that was it would never have worked. You can't play that game. You you you, you eat. Eagle fans cannot play that can't believe he dropped game. There was real reason why teams stayed away they from do, him. They do do that every week. Yeah, it's like, well, yeah. I mean, it's, do it's you want us to be like, well, he, he, someone died in, like, his car. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, all right, Dave, the Raiders at the Chargers. The Chargers favored by five and a half. I think the Chargers win this one probably pretty big. Shout out Mike Williams, fantasy knee gone for the season. Sure. What? He's done. He's done. Yes, I said that, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he said, I thought he just said shout out. No, I continued oh. knee out yeah. for the season on my fantasy team. Uh, I, I still like the Chargers. <laughs> Dan. I like the Chargers here. Uh, it is a loss, <clears throat> Mike Williams. I think we might get Brian Hoyer in this game. Is Jimmy Garoppolo, I think, is in concussion protocol. Uh, did you see the story? I had to get your take on this because you've been part of a noogie before. Did you see the Marquette King story? The punter? Yes. That. So he said that the reason why the Raiders cut him was Mark Davis saw Marquette King with two women one night, and Mark Davis said, I see you. And then Marquette King went over to Mark Davis and gave him a little soft noogie, not like the hard noogies he got from bullies in high school. Yeah. And then he got cut. Got to cut him. <laughs> yeah, he got him. But he's disrespectful. You, get, you can't noogie the owner. You can't, two women. Noogie. You can't uh, if, if you walk in with two women... And somebody walks up and noogies you, and you. No, no, no. He Marquette King had the two women, and Mark Davis said, "I see you." And then he's like, "Thanks," and noogied him. Marquette Davis noogied Mark. Davis. Oh, I thought Mark Davis had the women. No. Either way, you. Well, <laughs> and I Nate mean, noogied Dave, and it, yeah. it, it, he had to noogie him to death. Back. I, I the skin <laughs> off my knuckle. I had a huge True story. scar. True story. And, and then no, Nate, what? Nate noogied Nate. Dave. Nate noogied me. So I was like, well, I get to nook you back and nook you on camera. I nook him so hard, the skin came off my, <laughs> and then he complained video. to Erica. Yeah. But that's the only way. Like, Nate would have lost his Wait, job otherwise. He complained to Erica? Yeah. I didn't know that part of it. Yeah, yeah. He went in and said that he was being abused by me for the noogie. It's like, well, didn't you noogie him first? <laughs> yeah. Mark Davis Which, it's did all have... On camera, yeah, yes. no, Mark Davis had that option. If he didn't want to cut Marquette King, he could have just been like, come to my office. I'm going to noogie you for the next 24 yeah. hours. Nooging is very disrespectful. You can't noogie someone. Especially grown <laughs> men doing it. It's, yeah. it's... You can't noogie people. That's and that too, a punter. Like that's get like, the next guy in here. Almost <laughs> nobody you can get away with like grown man noogies. No, right. But definitely not. I mean, if you have like, like you know, if you're, if Peyton Manning was your quarterback and he noogies you, you're gonna chuckle yeah. or whatever. You're not you're gonna. gonna yeah. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. honestly, Ursay may, fight, may may have gone yeah. to Peyton if he fought, if he noogies. That is the most disrespectful thing you could do. What if yeah, Tom but, Brady would have done it to Bill Belichick? Right. I think not, Bill Belichick might have cut him. No. 
If Tom maybe. can doogie, maybe. you cannot maybe. doogie. Maybe. Not in, in the, the middle of winning. In the height, oh, in the maybe. height, maybe. Maybe. it is the maybe. most disrespectful it's, thing it you is. can do. It's incredibly it disrespectful. It's like yeah. But, but the, with with balls and dick out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the it. height of the Patriots dynasty, you think he would have cut him? Yeah, maybe. A noogie is it's that bad. It's a dumb. No, no. It's a noogie's bad. I don't disagree. so bad. I don't think you understand how bad a noogie is. It's a dumb question because you don't get to that level if there's a break in the chain of command where that could even happen. That like the only or the coach is getting noogied. Yeah, you know? Tom would have never done that. No, like, right. It's like a, you're walking around, every single person in Pants. this situation is walking around with a nuclear code in their back pocket. Like, if I noogied Dave right now and he was like, you're done, I'd be like, okay. Noogie. Like, that's fair. Yeah, noogie. Like, you can't noogie. Noogie, wedgie, pants. What about, like, the swirly? Swirly. All, swirly. All okay. swirly. Playground yeah. things that you can't. Oh, but, dude, wet willy. But, but, yeah, yeah, wet willy. Wet, wet, wet willy's a little more no, wet willy's come back. No. That's a little more no. teasing. Yeah. Yeah, I think wet willy is but worse in that, than noogie. In, in the situation of Marquette and Mark Davis, you just walk up. No, wet willy, though. No, no, wet willy's a little more that, fun. That, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. The fact that you have to, like, lick your finger to put it in someone's ear. It's more playful. A noogie is basically lifting your leg and peeing on a tree. Yeah. I'd rather somebody try to noogie me than give me what I completely you ever agree. do a dry willy because no one's gonna be able to no noogie me that long a dry willy? It's, dry getting, willy? it's getting physical fast yeah but but a wet willy you're just like you're pissed but you're like I gotta dry out there's my ear. spit in you your ever ear do a dry willy you go in your ear and then you go in your mouth Oh, that would have been crazy. Dry really Willie's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. So gross. It's crazy. But, I, but one last it thing. Was. There is something. What a wild attempt. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, like, I, I didn't go show. full on attempt. Name I did a more show. like, hey, Will, back up. I'm coming. <laughs> okay. uh, the, a pantsing when you get the underwear is maybe the funniest thing ever. If you can pants someone and their dick and oh, balls yeah. flop out is so fucking and you, funny. And, and, and you put the, you have the other guy down, you push a pants, push, <laughs> fall, the whole thing. It will instantly it's, make me laugh. I will so say I'm a little, like dude, back to football for a second. The, I, I don't <laughs> the know that has show. anything to do with it, but I'm buying into all the chaos that like Chandler Jones is creating. Yeah. So like every, even though he's so clearly lost it, like he's just crying like you a man. Jerry went out And he's going, well, he's going after Taylor. And Jer Jerry stepped up. You yeah. see yeah. Jerry? Very Come on, with the boys. We can talk about Chico and Adam, and I'm just thinking. Jerry, what did you say to him? I just said I'd embarrass him on the football field. If you were, you, you said, "Thank God I'm not in the NFL." Yeah. What was it? What is the Taylor stuff about? Nobody knows. Nobody. He's just no. Nobody knows. Because he's, it's just he, he abused yeah. Taylor, right? Did he have like five sacks? Yeah, yeah. That, that was. That's yeah. probably what he said. Uh, Ask Daddy. He was referring to himself as daddy. Mm -hmm. But what did, what, like, provoke, whatever. Whatever the case is. Something's going on. Something's like, yes, major. It, it shouldn't it's equate not, it's not good. to me being like it's chaos in, with the Raiders, but it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because he's involved. No, he, it's he, being talked about yeah, in the locker so, room. I mean, I even Will, even De Devontae Adams, right, was Yeah, like, he wants out, too. He's yeah, losing yeah. culture. It seems yeah. chaos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, it's not, it's, not, it's not that bad. Oh, no. With the, what? With the Devontae Adams comment? That's not. That was taken out of context. Well, taken out of context? No. Who are you taking in this game? I'm going Raiders. Okay, Raiders. I'm going Raiders. I like the Raiders. <laughs> okay, uh, Dan, the Cardinals at the 49ers. 49ers favored by 14. Tough, tough game. Shout out it's a Will. tough game. It's a tough game. <laughs> Shout out Will. Uh, the Niners are just so elite in everything they do. Christian McCaffrey, since he's been on the Niners, are 15 and one in the regular season. It's insane. He's managing amazing. his carries last game as a fantasy owner. I noticed that. That's why I got stopped doing it. Yeah, he's he's scored 12 straight games. Yeah, I know. 12 straight games. It's on my it's team. Pretty insane. But with all that said, 14 points is a lot in the Ton. NFL. Ton. It's a lot. And the Cardinals, I think, will will we'll keep this at least a little bit close. Will? Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. Dave. Plus 14, Arizona. I'm going to take the Niners. I think if the Cardinals hadn't won last week. Yeah, you're right on that. It, 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 then Ooh, it's more Yeah, sneaky. he's kind of right on that. I know, because they've been, they've been tough every game. Like, they understand. They have the 3-0 against they know, the they know the situation that Correct. they're in. Correct. So That's why me, I don't, like, you just think they're going to get high on them? No, no, but I think to me that everyone's aware of that. Right. Like, you're, there's a sneak-up potential with some of these teams. They already did their sneak-up. And I, it, it, Do you understand what well, I'm saying? And, and I'm yeah. looking at the spread here. And it's very obvious, well, they just beat the Cowboys. They played tough the week before when no one expected 14. What are you kidding me? That's a lot of points. It's, so. it's more about the Niners. If they hadn't won last week, their sneak-up potential stays carrying over. So the Niners are like, we got this, no problem. Now the Niners see that the Cardinals beat the Cowboys. They're like, well, hold on a second. And, and very to, much from a gambling perspective, I think it's very easy in this game to build a case for the Cardinals plus 14. So that's why I'm taking the 49ers. You good with that? His reasoning no, I'm, is, okay. I, I'm, good, I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm just saying I don't think it's the 
I don't think it's a, oh, we beat the we beat the Cowboys, and now all of a sudden the Niners are going to take it more serious. Like what is? I, I don't know where the public is, but I can see the public being on the, the Cardinals this game. Let's go to Sunday Night Football, the Chiefs at the Jets. The Chiefs favored by eight and a half, and Dave, apparently Taylor Swift is going to be at MetLife. That, saw that. Um, part of me, conspiracy theory, is like the NFL is paying her to go to this game because what a horrible game. Nobody really would be paying attention. Now the world is going to be paying attention because she's that big, and, you know, it's going to be a, another coronation for the Chiefs. They're just going to be how many touchdowns can we get Travis Kelsey? How much can we beat the Jets by? Uh, I mean, Wilson, Zach Wilson, he stinks. He, so and and I, I, I thought I'd be good out of college. I think he's handling this stuff as well as a human can handle it. They got Namath saying he's disgusting. <laughs> but the Chiefs are one of the best teams in the league, obviously. Jets are – Jets, Bears, the worst. So, uh, yeah, the Chiefs are going to fucking – eight and a half seems – Yeah. That's what – That's what. Uh, it's trap. Like, I feel like, what do they know? Trap. The, well, uh, yeah, Joe Namath went off on yes. Zach Wilson. That was it's bad. tough. Well, the, there was a report that Zach Wilson bought everybody in the locker room ice, ice cream as a, as a – it was fake? He's a troll. Oh, damn. I – oh, you fell for it. Well, I no, I it, actually. actually saw it, and I said that would win oh, me over. Oh, yeah, I just saw oh, that one hundred percent would. That would win me over. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I didn't no, know. No, it was I, I, I'm taking the Chiefs. I this, I don't know that I'll bet this game, but if you take the Jets, and the Chiefs end up winning by three touchdowns, you, you almost have to commit suicide. <laughs> no, it's it's true. It's there are certain points in a gambling season where you basically have to take. You're like, what was I doing? No, you have to take the pick that <laughs> doesn't. That's true because I'm taking the Jets, and, and if, if that happens, I'm gonna be like, out. Oh, I'm such a it's the humiliation impression. factor. <laughs> it's the humiliation factor. You have to play in the humiliation factor because, like, you can lose with if you take the Chiefs and it's a seven point game, you lose. Like, okay, that sucks. If you take the Jets and they lose by 40, that's humiliating. That is just like what? Can't do it. Like it's a sharp play to take the Jets and win, but if they just go out and get smashed because they're inferior, and you're just sitting there with the Jets. It, yeah, it, that's you won't sleep for a week. What if the Chiefs though, are worried about all the wrong things going into New York? They, that's they, why they, I'm going. They probably Jets are, but the Jets are so bad and they're so good. I think <sighs> you can overcome. You can play half. I think. Let me say this. I think the Taylor Swift thing is for sure going to catch up with the Chiefs. Just not this weekend. Correct. Can, I have a can she celebrate, though, whenever they score against the Jets? Because you said that you didn't like how much she no, celebrated Casey, against the Bears. Casey, 41 to but nothing. But it's Taylor Swift. She but never I gets I, to be what, a normal What does that fan? have to do? No. She's never gotten to be a That's not a normal fan. That's not a normal wag. I guess you're right. But she never has gotten to celebrate anything like that. I think like, let her celebrate. I have a question. Dave's talking about it in the nature of, of football. No, I, no, I know what he is, else. but she's bigger than that. She's not bigger than well, football. Well, she's, she's, she's not bigger than football. She's not bigger than football. She's not bigger than football. Nobody, no not one person is bigger than the Shield. I, no one person. Did you ever answer my question? She's not bigger than football. She's bigger than acting like a normal If Taylor Swift in the NFL went toe-to-toe, which side are you on? In like a war? Yes. I am glad that you brought this up, Dan. NFL. Thank you. She's not bigger than football. She's bigger than acting like a normal wag. Like, I, I I'm ready really if am we more get of a there, football fan than Let's a, hope we don't get That's there. not putting down I just, I'm I live taking, for football. I'm taking notes but on I, which I, side I, people are on right. if we get there. But Taylor. The it, Swifties are so powerful, they might ruin the NFL, and I'm not going to let that happen. Taylor, I, I like, I've seen, she did put Travis Kelsey in the map. That's oh yeah yeah yeah. Well, Travis Kelsey's better at his job than Taylor Swift. No, that's that's that's, 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 that's not, not even close. That's not true. That's, 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 that's not true. Wild. Second, that's but the NFL, the NFL, the NFL itself is bigger. Right, than that's Taylor that's Swift. what I'm saying. Like the NFL, it might be bigger, but she that's is bigger all. than. Anybody. I have a question there. I mean, she can't ruin the NFL. Wait, I'm not convinced she's she's not bigger than the NFL. But no. if, if we go to war, I'll be on the 300 and fight with the NFL. Okay, thank Why would you think the NFL is bigger? That's all. That's all I want. What's that? The NFL's bigger. No, I don't. I don't know that. That's in America, true. it is. Oh. We have a whole oh okay. Well. Everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You just don't think other countries have heard about the NFL? No, they've. You don't think they've heard? Of, she's well, international. Well, I'm sure that they have. I don't care about other countries. I care Let me about tell America. you that. What do you think is a harder ticket to get if you go to other countries? An NFL game or Taylor Swift concert? Are we talking Super Bowl? Yeah, we could probably could. Which oh. she's never done the halftime show. She's not big enough. Because she's too big. She's not big enough. Taylor Swift is 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 bigger globally than the NFL. She's not big enough. No. To have yes. Show. Oh yes. No. I have a crazy. question. That's crazy. I mean, that's but, well, how do you she, measure it? How do you she, measure it? I, she's had like I a just asked you that. Song in like a hundred countries. I just asked you that. 
If you're going with followers, you take all the followers. No, no, no. no. I'm saying that you put NFL games in stadiums across the world. Taylor Swift is going to sell out as much as she wants to go. The NFL can't do that. But that's – Time out, time out. Will. <laughs> so I saw you try to make this argument after I made this argument. I was trolling when I said that the NFL globally is bigger than Taylor Swift. And then I think maybe you thought that I was being serious, no, that you're, no, no, you're no. not right, and so we need to just go back to America. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I get – the thinking there because you were talking about this Monday morning. We yeah. all, we also shot our bus and show Monday, On Monday morning. morning after you listened. And to then when I saw yeah. when I saw yeah. all the stuff, I was like, "Here's yeah. another yeah. moment Here's where Dan's another... gonna say." No, no, I'm not I'm saying that, but I'm just saying I'm letting you know that internationally she is bigger. No. And I was joking no. about that. America is what That's we have crazy. to focus on. No, That's okay. Insane. America, right. No, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah, I do stay on America. Time back in. I'm ready to go to I'm ready to go to war about the NFL being bigger than the Shield being bigger than Taylor Swift. International yeah, America. America. America everywhere America. everywhere. America. Okay. All That's right. just That's insane. crazy. That's we all love football, I think, more than Taylor Swift. I mean, I, I know the three. I mean, Dave's already said it. It's not bigger Listen, internationally. I, I, if I have to, I will go to war with the NFL. I need You're the NFL. You're on the right side of history. You're on the right side of history. But the, I mean, Taylor Swift's the biggest person basically in the world. I, I don't disagree. Look, I'm talking about the shield. The shield. That, the way you said that was awesome. But Taylor it Swift, a little, uh, Taylor yeah. Swift, I think, <laughs> go anywhere like, in the world. It truly takes yes. every part of the NFL. I, yeah, because I agree. Taylor Swift is like the biggest human being in the world. But the NFL, well, the if shield. You, you if, you took, back with you. if you took the biggest stars in the NFL and you put them globally in an airport or you put Taylor You're Swift in an airport. You're already making the mistake. You're already making the common mistake. You're talking about, about the stars her. of the NFL. I'm talking about the brand of the NFL. You think people in China care about the NFL more than Taylor Swift? Absolutely. That's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, that's insane. Like 1,000%. Uh, that's crazy. I, I had a question, and I want to go back to football talk. Uh, the man to my right, Will Compton, said the Chiefs were going to start 1-3. and three. What happened? I was wrong. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. all right. As a that's matter of okay. fact, that's I'll be okay. winning better. I said 1-4. and four to Oh, you said 1-4. and four. So Okay. They, I was wrong. I was wrong. You were feeling yourself after the Lions game. I was. I was I was feeling myself. I was like, this is it, dude. So are you taking the Chiefs in this game? No, he's taking the Jets. Jets. Are Jets plus eight and a half. And I'm taking Jets. the Chiefs. This is okay. my don't similar to what Dave said, the humiliation factor. This is just don't think, just throw. Yep. Nuclear. But you're scared don't about think. the repercussions. No, 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 no. You don't get in the history of like we're lifetime gamblers, you don't you don't get rich going against Chiefs in the Super Bowl run, Alabama when they're good, the Patriots yep. when they're playing terrible teams. The odds are if you just keep sticking to the script, take the far superior team, you're going to be on the right side of history don't more try often to, than not. Yeah, don't try to stick out. Yeah. Because it's going to blow up in your yeah. face. That's what I'm to do. The, uh, yeah, no, the, the Chiefs are going <laughs> to win this game, and they're going to win it handily. Uh, the Chiefs' defense is very good. It not is. being talked about. Two doors down. Chris Jones, you replied. He's like, let's come, let, let's hang out. I Great like, dude. Yeah, he's my go. neighbor. Let him oh, know. He is your neighbor. Yeah. Two doors. Yeah. Full circle. He's not directly next. He's the one after. Full circle. The pantsing with the balls out. Just remind him that he on the combine his yeah. underwear yeah, yeah, blew yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Balls <laughs> <and dick laughs> you say, I'm looking forward to me. Great he's dude. Great, great dude. So he's my neighbor. Let's move on to three bad opinions, and we're doing it differently this week. Everybody is coming with a bad opinion. So, Will, I was told to start with you. What is your bad opinion for Week Four of the NFL season? Mm. Oh, no. Jets upset the Chiefs. Oh, okay. That is a that's, bad opinion. That's this is a really bad three, opinion. Three, three. What? Got it. Go ahead. What? That was a. No, no. That was good. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, that was a bad. I mean, it was well, he, the name yeah. of the segment, bad opinion. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Yeah, and we just yeah, no, we just broke down all the reasons. Yeah, 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 yeah. we just broke down yeah, all I'm the reasons. Them, why you I'm taking them. I'm taking them to cover plus and a half. By the way, they can still lose. But my bad opinion is it's a bad opinion. Money yep. Okay. My Dan. bad opinion. I've already had a bad opinion in this division, so I'm just going to jump to a different one. I think the Colts might be able to win the AFC South. I don't think that's a bad opinion. I think it is. That's a bad not opinion. ballsy. No, I think it's. I think it's a bad opinion because I don't. Like, I keep flirting with it, and then I'm like, but they're the Colts, and Anthony Richardson keeps getting hurt, but I do like how they're playing, and their coach is good. 
But I, I, there's no way. I mean, what are the odds? The but odds I thought are we were also bad. trying to define our bad opinions that we needed to do more weekly based. Okay, all right, weekly based. Because you based. keep taking these season long. All right, you're right, oh, you're right, so you're right. All right, I, fine. All right, I'll go weekly based. All right, then that's what that's what I was wondering whether they're weekly or the season. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Well, Dan, thanks. What's your bad opinion this week? That the Patriots, Colts is a bad opinion. Patriots upset the uh, Cowboys. It's a bad mm. opinion. Mm. Love to see it happen, but it's a bad opinion. Okay, this Dan. is one of those I'm not, times. I, I'm not against that. I think I, this is a. I think this is a game that they. I'm looking directly into this camera right here. Very few weeks, I've sat on this panel. I, I truly don't think it's going to happen. So it's a bad opinion. It's, like, yeah. I do not think. <laughs> Which I would feel like there's probably like less than very five few. games Usually in the last am, four seasons. Listen, when this. you've had the success that we've had and the rings that we've had and the championships, you always that allude we've, to that. No, like, it's, it takes a talk long. Talk about time. now. And, and by the way, <laughs> it took it took me it, when. But when you've had that success, my point: it takes a long time to get off of it. You've been trained. I'm like Pavlov's dog. Patriots win. <laughs> I don't think this is the time to start to doubt this game at Dallas. I think this is actually a prime game. I hope you're right. Of Bill well, Belichick winning. I hope. Season. And, also and if Jets, so. and if the the Patriots win, then you're back on like where you're not going to pick against them for a while, right? I'm booking my trip this. Well, he, he there picked, you go. So, to be clear, you picked the Patriots with the points, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But I would never. I know his, his bad opinion. I just think. All right, I got a bad opinion. I got a. It's a bad action. I'm going to trust Stu Finer and Oof. go game in my career. That's always the a Giants. Problem. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make the bet. This oh, is a really saying, bad opinion. No, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make the bet worth worthy of Stu Finer's career. I'm gonna has bet he a lot on the Giants. Career game before is this? Oh, every week. Uh, okay. Casey. Yeah. I mean, I Stu. I, I don't. Nah, he he's got a he limited. A he's got an unlimited. <laughs> he he goes he goes he's like <laughs> Inspector Gadget. He goes into his closet and he just look all all this hung up. It's just game of the year, game of the career, game of the life. I feel like game of the year, all that, but like game of your career. No, he just pulls it game out of the closet. Career. He's like, here's another one. He, gotcha. He, okay. He is, yeah. yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> okay. So your bad opinion is that you're rolling with Stu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work well when he sends that text. Butler being like, basketball. Yeah, Butler basketball. Mortgage your house. That'd Do this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, take out another mortgage. <laughs> sell your kids off. I put have, it all I, on this. He, he, he's been blocked since the Butler basketball game on my phone. Yeah, that was a Super Bowl the, in Atlanta. His phone number is blocked or his, like, uh, just social media? No, phone. Oh, yeah. That's tough. Oh my gosh. That's tough. That's really tough. All right, let's move to the survival. You're lucky you didn't get it, Jerry, oh. the other day. <gasps> Najee? Yeah, but now you didn't. You didn't. That wasn't heavy. For 15 grand on it. I mean, I know, whatever. It's I know. money, real money. Yeah, it's money. Yeah, 15 grand. Right. 15 grand. Is- <laughs> you know, Jerry's you, like, does he consult? Do, are you like, are you if like, so, hey, if I get, if I get if a, you go, hey, I'm going 15. I'm going no, he went, no, he no. Went, if I get a random text out of the clouds guaranteeing yes. something, yes. You, you put handcuffs on me. I have you to bet. You can't not bet it. I put five grand on it. Hey, Jerry cost me, I, Jerry I've, cost I've me like 10 grand a week. more than I've lost though, I'd say. I don't know. You're just going back to the UFC. You had one great night at UFC. And you know he remembers the losses more, yeah, obviously. Those nights are which great. is no, he did. Dave yeah. and I were at the UFC, Mass Square Garden. Jerry was on fire. We won everything. It was great. But he, Dave's right. If you get the text, Elio's another one. He texts that. He'll he'll just text like a game of the year out of nowhere. And it's once your eyes read the play. You put it in. Well, it's are. basically like you you don't have a choice. He's putting it in for him. Correct. Didn't, didn't Jack Mac do that a few years ago and he had to like go wear a clown suit yeah, and yeah. Yeah. or something? I mean. Yeah, it was UMass. like you caught UMass versus yeah, UMass Acre. Acre. He said none of the people were playing, they all played. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. Listen, yeah, if someone DMs me a game of the year, I have to take it. So it's, I, it's not fair. I get horses. Yeah. I'm blue, like the yeah. fourth at Emerald Downs. Yeah. All right, let's it's go. It's not fair. It's really not fair. Who, who's watching Emerald Downs on a fucking Thursday? It's not fair. <laughs> let's move on to Survivor Pool Picks presented by Jack Daniels and Coke. The guys have it in front of them. It is the ready-to-drink canned cocktail with Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey and Coke. Of course, everybody wants to be able to have something easy. You don't have to mix it. You don't have to grab it out of the cooler. And it looks cool. Look at these. These black cans are great. great zero sugar. Tailgate. Zero great sugar. Yeah, great for a tailgate. Great for wherever you're watching football. So go to your local retailer or go to jackdaniels.com slash jackandcoke to find it near you. I mean, and again, if you're drinking something this cool, like, you're going to have a great day. Yes. So Survivor Pool Picks, Will, you are still alive. You've been doing great. And then, of course, the guest seat as well is still alive. So, Will, I'm going to let you choose since you're the permanent host here. Are you going first or are you going to let Dave go first? What's the matter? Let's hear it, Dave. San Fran. Just in case you took his. Well, you can still you, you can still 
You can take the same pick. I know, but so this year they've if oh, they have the same. No, no, you can, yeah, but they've I, not taken the same I don't one. Think if they I have the same one. The Niners yet. I don't think so. No, you've had Washington, Indiana. Yeah, no, you have not. You've had the Commanders, the Colts, and the Chiefs. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going Vikings. I'm going okay. Vikings. Okay, and then Dan, if you, if you had a hypothetical pick, you did take Dallas last week, which. Yeah, okay. if I I don't even know what my hypothetical teams left, but I would take Kansas City if I had a hypothetical pick this week. Oh, you lost. Yeah, no, I lose every week. I lose every week. Jerry, you only lost week one. You've been yeah. alive since then, but yeah, I'd like happened? to really. It's late. Be involved next year in a major survivor. Play. Yes, it's fun. Yes, now we should yes. do a company one. Yes, under the radar, that big bucks. Buybacks too. Yep. Buybacks are great. Yeah, because you get the pot even yep. bigger. Yep. Well, yep. How many do you allow? No, the rule is if you do a buyback, then you have to pick. I think. I think what I've done in the past is if you buy back, there's a certain week that you can't buy back past like eight, yeah. week eight. But if you buy back, you have to put in the money again. And then you got to pick two teams that week. Ooh, I like that. So you wow. burn it. Uh, well, then you guys could teams that week juice every up the week? pot. No, yeah. just that week that you buy back in. Yeah, we got to so ne- burn two teams. Ne- yeah. Next year, we got to have a company wide major. It. Like, I love that'd it. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are you, who's your hypothetical pick? Did you take one? Uh, no, I didn't take one yet. I won't. Um, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be just head to head. I'll go with this. I'll go with the um, Chiefs this week. Chiefs? Okay. Yeah, but I didn't use them yet, I don't think. But with the hypothetical survivor pool for the company, would everybody have to buy in the same amount? That's what we're well, saying. Oh, it's well, that's, it's just you two. Right. It's going to be it's me versus two. Dave head to head, and then I'm going to probably bankroll Jerry, and he's going to lose right away. And he'd be like, whoa. Yeah. I mean, you can't do it for less than 10 grand. No. Okay. It's going to be the two of you. I know. It's going to be me and Dan. That's an insane. We're just going to keep my, my, my fantasy Why not wait? My fantasy league is 25 grand entry. Well, why don't you make it like 2,500 bucks? Okay. Well, why don't you, both of you, invest 10? And the rest of the company will do. So a you guys thousand. get our money. Yeah. Okay. I, I, Jerry, you're and a that, smart and, guy on yeah. how to get our money. Yeah. You do a good job. Of it. Just, or what? I if saw you, him. Oh, you're right. I'm getting seventy I, grand I, from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you? What if you do something like a lower amount, like twenty five hundred, but then you guys also have your own version? Yeah, of we, it? we'll figure it out. Because more people would buy into it. It'd be more fun. Maybe we just cut everybody out except me and Dan. Yeah. And just create a high roller. League. Yeah, right. right. That, and we just keep buying back in. Well, no, we know enough. We know plenty of people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we could easily. Taylor can afford it. Oh, definitely. It. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so Taylor that's... Taylor can afford it. He can. That's yeah. the uh, the end of the show. <laughs> Will, you, you survived part one of this weekend, you versus Dave. How do you... are survived part one. Well, you, as we sat the on the show... The, yeah, the I feel the show, it. As we show sat on the show... You did as, thrive. Actually, I'm going to be a man of honor <laughs> and, and integrity and gentleman, and because we're a team here, GBR, go blue. I did get a, a private flight to go to Lincoln if you want to jump on and skip yours. I think it's leaving around two thir- three o'clock. Wow. Lincoln at three. That's a big that is that's a big GBR. time today. Ooh. So it leaves little, at three or we yeah. get there at three? No, it leaves at three today. A little FaceTime with the boss. It's up to you. I think I'll stay with my uh That's crazy. Oh. What time's your flight? Uh twelve twenty. Wow. Uh, okay. All right. But I'm saying I land I land at two thirty and we got you know, we got stuff to do. Okay. Oh. We got stuff to do. Yeah. So I'll see how you're gonna take We're gonna see the Lincoln? new facilities. I'm gonna be there tonight. I'm gonna do some pizza review and get. We got we so we check out the new facilities. We got a meet and greet, and we have a live show tonight. Where's the live show? Bourbon Theater. Want me to bring some people in? You want to be on it? Get get a crowd there. You want to be on it? If you want, yeah, I'll be on it. What time's that? Seven o'clock. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do some pizza GBR. I want to see Lincoln. I want to experience Lincoln. And we get there tomorrow, and we're gonna be sitting with you at the game. Uh, you know that's TBD. TBD. I you know. I requested the tickets. Okay. I don't know if they're, the same. We'll I don't know if they're the same access. Like, <laughs> All right. All right. It's I, my. I guess we will see. So this my stadium. Is, you think so I'm going to let Dave right next to me down there on the sideline? Oh, I was talking about me and Dan. Oh, yeah. I yeah. want the trumpet. Okay. Give me the trumpet. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Give me the trumpet. So, again, by the time this re-airs sure, on sure, Sunday, sure, we'll sure know. Done. We will know. Okay. So, anything else? We good? No, great show. Good. Great, great show. show. All right. We'll see you guys next week.